Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining what are and how to use groups in Salesforce CRM. So once you log into Salesforce of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in this video obviously I want to be explaining what groups are and how to use groups. So we'll head over to the groups tab up the top here as you can see and we'll select the groups. Now groups are essentially a means of grouping, like it says on the tin, users inside of these uh, inside of the Salesforce system. So you could be grouping these particular users for any reason at all, and that is exactly what groups are, just uh, to make a group of users, and it then allows you to then go ahead and share relevant information with that particular group um, at any time when you're using the Salesforce system without having to individually select each user inside of the Salesforce system. So grouping is just a quick and efficient way of managing a group of users to probably share information out of most things. But there are instances where people might use groups for entirely different reasons, uh, work related, but outside of the Salesforce system. So that is what groups are essentially. And then in order to create a new group, it's really, really simple. Just go to your groups like we're on now and then press the new button up the top right hand corner here. Press new and then it's going to ask you to give your group a name. So I'm just going to call this test group. And then as well, you can provide a description of your group if you so wish. And then from here, we can go ahead and put some information about the group as well. Um, and you can you know, use different fonts, etc. We've also got the owner of the group. So it's automatically assigned as yourself, but you can change it to someone else if you so wish. And then we have access type, so public, private, or unlisted. Um, if you're an admin, you'll be able to set it as public. However, if you are not, it'll just be private and unlisted as your two options. Now, of course, unlisted is where you share it. Private is where it's private, and then public, anyone can join the group, of course. And then below here, so I'm gonna just, sorry, I've just set this to public as an example. And then we can archive it. So if you're no longer using that group, you just come on here to archive it. You can disable automatic archiving. So if it's automatically archiving, you can stop that. And then broadcast only. So you can select this group as being a broadcast only group. So you can communicate with just these people, but nothing else. Once you're happy with that, just press the save and next button. And this is where you could upload a group photo if you so wish. Again, entirely up to you. I'm not going to do that. And then we press the next button again. And this, of course, is where we can go ahead search for users inside of our Salesforce system and add them to the system. So I'm gonna search for myself. I'm the only user in this system. Select myself and there I have it. I've added myself to this test group as you can see. Um, and you can go ahead and add more and more people if you so wish. So this is on the group here. If we head back over to groups, you can see we've got our test group. We can access it. Um, and again, like I said, you can go add files you can manage the members, you can add more members if you so wish. You can see the members already here. And it's like an area where you can chat about information. Um, you can see the engagement, membership, things like that as well. Um, so it's kind of in a sense like a, like a Slack channel, like a really, really basic Slack channel. You can post information, post attachments, make announcements. You can do polls as well. I would almost go as far as to describe this as Twitter. <laughs> but this, it, this is essentially what a group is, just a, a place for users to communicate with one another, um, to share information easily, um, and just have a general place to work with or work with other users um, for specific reasons inside of the Salesforce system. So of course, that is how to create a group. Um, if you do need to edit any information, just go onto the groups tab at the top, use the drop down menu on the right hand side and press edit group. And this is where you can change any of the information. So that is how to create a group. And hopefully that has explained what a group is inside of your Salesforce CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained what are and how to use groups in Salesforce CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.